You won't be disappointed. Tired of never finding anything useful at the other merchant stalls? That won't happen here. You know exactly what you want. I like that in a custom. Finest wares in all the land. of war consume the land, and thousands of lives are lost in its defense. It seems He's called another tragedy, meeting. What I is it this time? Another warning? Another execution? No, he has work for us to do. Which means we won't be paid. He's abandoned the ways of the merchant guild. Does as he pleases now. He treats us as if we were his servants. And the guard does nothing to stop him. Enough! We must go! If we're late, he'll be angry, and we'll suffer for it. Perhaps one day, someone will have the courage to stand up to him. Perhaps. But until that day arrives, we should do as told. We must resist! We must push! Back! comes the English king and his infidel what army. The they leave horrors in their wake. Salahadin rides to meet him that these barbarous acts Doha Alay! Your life is now! Him. 
course the Christian king and his army of infidels. They go against against the will of God. Not find better and items in I swear it. Find his squares in all the land. Be wary, friends. The shaitan is everywhere. What? I think I've seen everything now. None know the man better than I. Come close. Hear the tale I have to tell of a merchant prince without peer. So Tamir gave the man his food, and when the battle was finished, the Saracen leader saw to it that the merchant was repaid a thousand times. And so Tamir left, riding north and wondering what would become of his supplies, for soon they would surely spoil. That should have been the end of this tale and the poor man's life. But fate intended otherwise. And so Tamir left, riding north and wondering what would become of his supplies. For soon they would surely spoil. That should have been the end of this tale and the poor man's life. But fate intended otherwise. Some say, were it not for Tamir, Salah men would have surely turned on him. Could be we won the battle because of that man. You seem to know quite a bit about Tamir. Tell me what he's planning. I know only the stories I tell, nothing more. A pity. There's no reason to let you live if you've nothing to offer in return. Wait, wait! There is one thing. Continue. He is preoccupied as of late. He oversees the production of many, many weapons. What of it? They're meant for Salah ad -Din. This does not help me, which means it does not help you. No, stop, listen! Not Salah Hedin. They're for someone else. The crests these arms bear, they are different, unfamiliar. It seems Tamir supports another, but I know not who. Is that all? Yes, yes. I've told you everything I know. Then it's time for you to rest. <laughs>
for your sins. Sins. You cannot run forever! I'll have your head! Come back to us! It's good you came along when you did. Another minute and they would have made off with me. I owe you... us all wiped from the world. We must resist. We must push back. I stand before you to deliver a warning. Should Richard take Jaffa, there will be no stopping him. He will march on Jerusalem next. We must end this before it has a chance to begin. That city is ours, has always been ours. It is our duty to defend it until death. The Crusaders must be destroyed. The fires of war consume the land, and thousands of lives are lost in its defense. It seems a tragedy, but I say this is an honor to die in service to God, fighting for what we believe in. There is no greater glory than this! Be so, wary, how did you manage to do it? Oh, <laughs> it wasn't easy, my friend. No, not at all. Cursed merchant caught me trying to steal from him. Called for help. I can't imagine the guards were pleased. At least a dozen of them appear. All well armed and spoiling for a fight. What did you do? I ran. Over, under, and through the crowd. Knocked over a few stalls for good measure. But they kept coming. Then how did you escape? With a little help from my friends. What do you mean? There's a couple of my brothers who gather around the southeastern exit of the souk. They let me pass and then turned their attention towards the guards. Kept them distracted while I got away. Without their help, I wouldn't be here right now. I stand before you to deliver a warning. Richard take Jaffa. There will be no stopping him. Your presence annoys me. will march on Jerusalem. next. We must end this before it has a chance to begin. That city is ours, has always been ours. And it is our duty to defend it until death. Dirty steam. Oh, 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 oh. Tell me, please. Your life is dead man. now. Stop! It was good you came along when you did. Another minute and they would have made off with me. Oh no, what happened? Together, we will succeed. So... You if find you me, me, I'll be here. I'm glad to finally meet you, friend. Praise be Salah Hadin. He has found the strength to stand in defense of our great civilization. Make no mistake. It is our very existence we are fighting for. What is that man doing? The infidel king which see us all wiped from the world.
Altair, welcome, welcome. I've done what you asked. Now give me the marker. First things first. Tell me what you know. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. you'll ever need. <laughs> come, come see what I have to offer. Mm. Everything's new. You have no business here. Mm. Mm. is for a few coins. No, you don't understand. I have nothing. If you just have a look. I have no interest in your calculations. The numbers change nothing. Your men have failed to fill the order, which means I have failed my client. We need more time. This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me. What do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Would that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I ask in return was you fill the orders I bring you, and you say I ask too much? <coughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. No! Stop! You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me! You must learn your place! No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. I'm so 
hungry. Just a little money, I bet. You not find better items anywhere else. I swear it. Listen here, Pathetic. citizen. Absolutely pathetic. Where did you learn your craft? I am at your service. Come, come see what I have to offer. Everything. Want the bargain? I am your man. I beg of you. I beg of you just a few coins. I can sell this. Please, can Melt it down and try again. I'm sure. Be at peace. You'll pay for this. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah. But he thinks I am an old man. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malim. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest.
So, feel like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline. One week. Well, six days now. Deadline? I can't talk about it. Man, put yourself in my shoes. I'm being held hostage by a group of scientists, at least I think you're scientists, and forced to spend all day in some crazy-ass machine. You won't tell me what you're looking for or why you want it, but I'm supposed to be thanking you for keeping me alive. This is so fucked! Sorry, but it is. What do you want me to do? Hmm, let's see, I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Safer for who? Both of us. You know what? I've got a question I think you can actually answer. What's up? Why is it that sometimes the guys in there talk like they're from the future? The future? I mean the present. Now, today, whatever. You've probably noticed that English has become the official language of the Holy Land. Yeah, I was gonna say. The Animus is translating speech it deems vital into more modern English, so expect a few anachronisms. I could probably make it more authentic, but... You ever read Chaucer? Who? Yeah. Definitely not for you. Can you tell me more about Abstergo? What goes on here? Beyond the whole keeping me prisoner thing. Abstergo is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Their primary focus is antidepressants. There's some information on the computer over there. But you already said this isn't about testing a drug. So what's the deal? I don't like where this is going. So it's safe to assume the Animus is not a part of their public face. What, you haven't seen the commercials? Oh my god. She has a sense of humor. I'm sorry, Desmond. I've got a lot of work to do. Like I said, if you want to know more about the company, take a look at the computer. The telecommunication stuff is particularly interesting. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts, large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry I'm late. Ready to go? Yes, we are.
are exposed, throwing soldiers from rooftops and into structures is a useful way to create an escape route. You've done well, Altair. And I'm confident that this is but the first of many successes. Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. He implied my work had a larger meaning. Significance comes not from a single act, but the context within which it is performed. The consequences born of it. Then is there more I need to know? Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. I see. No, you don't. And it will remain this way until you've learned your lesson. Still, you have performed competently. And as such, I restore a rank and will return a piece of your equipment. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. The Bureau leaders can tell you more about what needs to be done.